Today, it's Texas Tech and Oklahoma State. And now, with all the pregame analysis from the best, this is KMAC Red Raider Nation's Countdown to Kickoff, sponsored by Terry County Tractor. Okay, so last season when Tech and OSU got together, it was a familiar script. Red Raiders were double-digit underdogs against the top 25 Cowboys team, but then Jet Duffy threw for four touchdowns as the Tech offense put up 45. Jordan Brooks, who we mentioned, had 17 tackles, including that one of Chuba Hubbard at the goal line on a two-point conversion. And Texas Tech took advantage of five, count them five, Spencer Sanders turnovers, ending with a Doug Coleman pick to wrap up the 45-35 win. Now, half of those guys aren't going to be playing mm -hmm. in this game, but yeah. it all hits still the same. Another reason Texas <laughs> Tech was able to have success was due to the Red Raiders' ability to limit Tylen Wallace. <laughs> I say limit because hey. he still had 11 catches, yeah. but held him under 10 yards per catch just the second time in the past three seasons to do that. So Fox has their trivia question <laughs> is that. You're this welcome. Guy. This year has been more dominance from Wallace, though. Has also dealt with some injuries, missed the game because of it, but has racked up 656 yards in the six games he's played to the Cowboys, also averaging 16.8 yards per catch. That's pretty good. And it'll take another great effort in game plan to limit his explosiveness like the Red Raiders did last season. From a year ago, we did. We just put an emphasis that, you know, you just watch film after film. People just leave Thailand, just singled up on on DBs, and they, you just do catch after catch after catch. We're different than we were a year ago. I have a lot of confidence in those guys. So it didn't, I mean, we're not afraid of anyone. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely, you know, challenge, uh, challenge those guys. And, and, you know, at some point, that's what you have to do. Meanwhile, don't be fooled by the 41 points Oklahoma State gave up last week in Bedlam to Oklahoma. The Pokes defense actually improved this season. Don't pay attention to that Texas game either. Jim Knowles' unit ranked fourth in the Big 12 in total defense and among the top 25 in the country. And scoring defense ranked second in the Big 12 conference before last week's game against Oklahoma. They were actually giving up less than 18 points per game. No one has to. Yeah. They have a lot of guys. They have a lot of guys back from last year. I think right now 10 of the 11 starters uh, return from last year, and they're really a different defense than they were last year. They're they're playing really aggressive, really physical. It'll be a good challenge for me. It's a, uh, it gives them the ability to kind of load the box for the run game. They're really good in the pass rush. A lot of a lot of sacks have happened in the third down situations, which they've done a good job of uh, getting people in long distance ones. And then on top of that, they're doing a great job of stopping you from getting them. All right, stick around when we return. Eric and I give you what to watch for in today's game. But first, Lance Blocker. What? No, Ron Roberts. Lance joins us with tonight's, or today's weather, I guess, there in Stillwater. Lance? A big game today for the Texas Tech Red Raiders. Winning last time we were at Stillwater. We're going to repeat that again later today. The weather is not going to cooperate much, though. In terms of temperature, we'll see a cool tailgate before the game, 42 degrees, 45 at kickoff, and the winds could begin to pick up. But we at the KMAC Weather Lab believe the rain will hold off till after the game and after Texas Tech gets its big win. You know what they call that, right? That's a winning streak. We're going to make it two in a row here. Excited about that as we head home. 49 degrees at half, but 51 degrees for our post-game celebrations.